Hey guys, Dr. Derry here, owner of Vision Health Services. And today, again, we're talking about back pain. And so I want to talk about back pain and specifically, I want to talk about what's causing your back pain. And so that's a big, big question I often get. I just saw a patient last week, um, acute onset of back pain, and she is like, what's going on? So hang with me in this video if you want to know exactly what I told her and what we went through. All right, guys, so here we go. And so I wanted to touch base here. And so what's causing you low back pain is definitely, definitely a difficult question to answer. And so I felt when I first started my practice, I really needed to know that exact cause in order to treat it. And so I spent a lot of time testing, a lot of times doing um, really, really deep examinations and oftentimes making the patient sore. And then I wonder like, is it worth it? Is it worth it to spend that much time trying to figure out the exact cause of back pain? And so as um, I went on with my practice and started learning more of the evidence and really what people were looking for, I figured out, you know, we don't really know what's causing your back pain and 90% of the time we don't know we can't figure out why now there are a couple categories of people um, that will have specific pain and specific distributions that match up with certain areas of structures that we know cause discomfort in a certain pattern okay yes we can be a little bit more specific in our diagnosis there and those patients are fun to treat when we move into the other group right the 90 other the 90 percent of individuals that don't fall in that we think okay what's causing your back pain well, in order to figure out a definite cause, you would think that you would want an image, but that's not going to figure out your cause. The image is just a snapshot in time, and it's not going to tell you this tissue is impaired. You'd actually have to go through some diagnostic injections, so take some sort of analgesic or pain relieving um, solution, such as lidocaine or something along those lines, and you have to inject it in certain areas of your back. And when I talk to patients about that's the way to get the spe specific diagnosis, that's usually not an area they want to start. They usually don't want to have an injection right away. And so I say, okay, so we're going to match what you want with what we know with the evidence. And so we know that 90% of people don't have specific diagnosable back pain. And then we're going to take what your sign and symptoms are to help guide your treatment. The signs and symptoms are the things that you're having problems with and the things that you're feeling. So you could have problems bending over, sleeping, lifting things up, and that could be causing back pain, buttock pain, or even leg pain. And that's okay. Those are very, very common, but we don't have to know the specific structure. So don't go diving in there and die in that, diving down that route of trying to figure out this specific structure. What I will tell you is you want to team yourself up with somebody that recognizes the things that you're having problems with and work you in directions that you are having difficulties with your goals and then follow or that should be um, developed from a thorough examination of what's going on what your history is on um, the things that you're feeling the medications you're taking the life that you're living the other aspects of your body that may need addressed as well and so it's a system approach it's not necessarily a tissue approach I and mean, it's really hard to figure out what tissue is the issue so don't go down that route and i would question many many providers that would say this is your issue we're good at recognizing patterns but we're not good at diagnosing specific tissues and so we look at patterns we look at signs and symptoms and we look at the evidence and what's helped people that look like you reach the goals that they want it gets even trickier when we talk about referred pain so referred pain is saying okay i've got something going on in my back i don't know what there's a lot a lot of structures there that be could be causing your pain but that is causing pain in your leg, in your buttock, in your calf. And those are all referred pain. And so what that means is you don't actually don't have an issue in your buttock, your hamstring, your calf, the front of your thigh, your groin, your hip, it doesn't matter. You don't actually have an issue there, but it's actually coming from somewhere else. So how do you know if you have referred pain? Do their patterns? or you have to have a good exam, right? So you really need a provider that's gonna look at your body and move you through certain motions to help reproduce or um, ex have you experience similar discomfort. And a lot of times I don't like poking the bear and I always tell my patients, hey, some of this testing I'm gonna do with you may cause your symptoms. It may make them feel worse for a moment, but that helps me figure out what's going on in the patterns that you're having. Now, I don't do that in people who can't move because they're in so much pain. And in people who are actually living their daily life and only have aches and pains here and there, I'll test them a little bit more to help dive in through some of those structures. And so I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, I, that's something I always talk to patients about and they always want to know what is going on. 
I will tell you, we often don't know. And that's okay, but there's a lot of peace of mind to come from learning what pattern recognition is, things that you're feeling, find some ways to feel better, encourage your body to move in those areas and regions. And so I hope that makes sense. That is a big, big question that I always get. And I just had a patient that I evaluated yesterday even, that had an acute onset of back pain, which means it was very recent, don't really know why. Um, took a little bit of an examination to look at her back pain, had some swelling, had some spasm, like discomfort. And do I know exactly what muscle is causing that? Absolutely not. Like I'm not going to try to sit here and try to guess what's what, what, what muscle is going um, through that inflammatory phase. But we know that tissue healing time period is this. We know gentle movement is really good. It's been proven much, many, many, many times in the literature. And we know that walking is really good. And so it's just all depending on where you fall on that spectrum to figure out if we need to give you a little, uh, a moderate amount or a lot to help encourage your body to heal and take it to that next level. So do you need to know exactly what's going on to treat you? Absolutely not. Do you want to know? Sure. Who doesn't really, who doesn't want to know what's going on? But unfortunately, your back and your body isn't like a car. You have parts there, of course, but these parts can heal itself and those parts you know, what you feel from those parts and your pain experience is all influenced by your, your behaviors, your experiences and what you're going through. So um, it's unfortunately not an exact way to figure out what's going on, but we're very good at treating it because we know patterns, we know what tissue healing times are, and we know what kind of movements to give you. And so if you want to know exactly what's going on, I would encourage you to switch your thought process and figure out, okay, so I don't really know what's going on, but how do I make myself better? That's a better question. And so I hope you found this video useful. Uh, it's just something that came up in practice. I, I wish you guys could have been there and saw me run through that, uh, run through that education with her and that examination and give her a nice step. And I guarantee she's gonna be moving in the right direction. So um, if you guys are interested in learning more, please reach out. I would love for more input on some more videos to do. If you guys wanna have some sort of um, like program or um, some exercises to help make your back feel better and give you a good place to start, always check my resources on my website, revisionhealthservices.com, and we can go from there. And otherwise, you guys, if you have any questions, please reach out. Otherwise, take care of yourself. I hope you're having a good day and stay safe and healthy.